All right, you beautiful humans. For all of you who've been looking for some more audio content, recommendations, mic setups, this one is for you. We are going to be diving into your streaming setup with the Samsung Q9U, which I will touch on the gaming aspect since the PC in the background. So timestamps will be throughout because I wanna help those beginners out there as well as those who have been looking to bump up your budget, but you've looked at the SM7B and it's still outside of your reach right now. And I know that these broadcast microphones seem to be growing in popularity, and I will address what I think is one of the best features with mics like this one in particular. I also want to address the fact that it sounds like I have gargled with gravel because I was at a soccer match last night, so my voice is completely shredded but I gotta get this content out because we've got stuff to do. So, of course, other, others might be asking, why in the world would you be using a broadcast mic for something like streaming, and not just streaming, uh, because I know that those, there are those of you that might be thinking that this isn't an appropriate use of this mic, but streamers are considered are really considering these mics, and like I said, not just streaming, but specifically even with gaming, but I really like this as an option because you can use it for more than just streaming, which I'll discuss in this video. And as always, full transparency here that Samsung did reach out to me on Twitter and asked if they could send me this uh, with no expectations as I've had this for several months. You can go back and look at all like videos the last like a uh, couple of months and I've been using this microphone. So they just wanted to see if I wanted to test it. No one from their team has asked about where my video is. So right now I am plugged into my Zoom H6 recorder via XLR. And speaking of XLR, these cables here, don't cheap out on cables. That is definitely a must. I can link up a couple of options. So you can get a bit of an idea of what spoken word or maybe even podcasting might sound like. But for the other streaming test, I will be plugged directly into the computer without an interface. So no handheld, no interface that I have in the background, and it'll just be pushing the mic, and of course, headphones for monitoring. I do also wanna mention that I have an inline preamp from Coda Music, you can see it here on the mic, which allows you to get some additional clean gain from your interface. And I'll be doing an additional review on this product, but simply put, if you were to increase the gain on your interface without this preamp, you may find that you're gonna get some additional noise. Whereas if I can turn down the gain on the interface itself and not rely so much on the preamps within that device and allow this inline preamp, it gives me a little bit of a boost that you'll start to appreciate. And of course, I can, you can listen to a few tests just to see what I'm talking about, but do keep in mind that it doesn't clean up the room noise. You still have to treat your room and you really still have to find a mic that fits your voice. This is with the inline preamp on the microphone and I'm at three on the Zoom H6 and it is allowing me to get my voice up to negative 12 dB. And without the preamp, I'm dialed to six to get that same negative 12 dB. And without the preamp, I'm dialed to six to get that same negative 12 dB. Now, of course, this preamp isn't necessary for the Samsung Q9U, but it is a great little addition that does work on dynamic and ribbon mics. And I really appreciate it. And so I'm gonna to continue to uh, put it through its paces and I will follow up with another review. Now, of course, in the box, you will find, obviously, the microphone. And then with the microphone, you will also get a windscreen. And then you will also get a USB-C from the mic to USB type A, as well as a USB-C to USB-C cable. And of course, these cables do come with a ferrite core uh, to help prevent that EMI from the device or to the device as well as any other devices or equipment that may be close by. So many of you have reached out in the past asking me about some noise that you're picking up on your mic. And of course, we've trouble, we've been troubleshooting with like cell phones and 
uh, laptop computers, anything that is even in your neighborhood, it could be picking up some of that noise and that ferrite core really does help with that interference. It's not a perfect solution, but it can certainly help. Now, one of the biggest advantages out of the gate is that this mic can really grow with your particular setup. And what I mean by this is that I really like a microphone that offers both an XLR and USB connectivity, whether you wanna use that simultaneously or you may not have that audio interface right now for that XLR connection. But knowing that you have a mic that can flex on your particular setup, I think that this can be a money saver in the end since there are often mics that have one or the other but really not both. Now the mic and the mounting bracket here are metal with a 5 8 inch thread for mounting with an awesome feature of being able to thread that onto the male connector pretty easily with only needing to turn the threaded portion. And the mic itself does grab a lot of the bumps on the mount and the stand or the boom arm. So this is something to be mindful of with your use case if you have this mounted on a desk or a surface that you may bump often but depending on your use case, this may be remedied by a simple floor stand setup, as long as you're not kicking it, or even a shock mount. But two techniques that I did want to share before we get into the streaming aspects is uh, setup and placement. And I certainly appreciate having this boom arm uh, that can be attached to a desk or a table. And I, I purchased this boom arm with my own money. But it also gives me that mobility to set this up in a way that, that to pick up my voice but minimize the plosives. Now, I know that some of this is just preference, but I like to do this so that I'm talking across the mic versus directly into the mic. Because when I'm talking directly into the mic, yes, it's it can sound rich and full, but that air can hit the mic directly. So what we wanna do is try to avoid that in talking across the mic. Now, of course, also I know that a preference is that I know many of us like to have the windscreen off and for some it can help with that muffled sound that you may be getting. However, for those of us that are projecting our voice or don't have a fully sound treated room, that windscreen can help with some of that bounce. Apologize if you have headphones on. Now, something else too is when you put the windscreen on, you can back that off just slightly. And then what that does is it, so it's not touching the tip of the microphone, it also gives you a bit of a buffer that can also help reduce some of those plosives. Now, right now we are in a flat position on the mic. However, there are these built-in options on the bottom where the mid boost allows for more top end and it may sound more clear. So if you kind of need that going for you, depending again on your room, your voice and your preference, that might be something helpful. So let's turn that one off. And the high pass filter removes that lower end, which again comes down to preference, your voice, and of course your space. But if it's a sound that you need, then that's something that you could go for. And if you engage them both, this is what it sounds like with both of these on, just to give you a bit of an idea. However, for me, I often just try to leave these off in that flat profile because I typically just adjust this all in post. But for those of you looking for a little bit of a help uh, from the hardware, then I recommend certainly experimenting with it before you go live. All right, so let's go ahead and get this set up for streaming and really more specifically adding in that PC for those of you that may consider this as a gaming setup. All right, so before I get started, just to let you know, I have the PC on my right mic pointed in this direction away from it. It isn't on the desk, it is on a table next to the desk, not vibrating the microphone, plugged directly into the PC, USB-C to USB type A. I do have a blower style card on this thing, um, just to give you some kind of heads up as far as like the, the noise in the room. So it's a Vega 64 mechanical keyboard that I'm using. Um, my son built it, I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing it. I can link everything down below. And then of course a gaming mouse and it is all sitting on a high star gaming pad. And so all of this is running through OBS. So that's where the control is. So it's not through an interface or anything like that, which honestly I would recommend, what I would recommend is that if you see me playing, you should run the other direction, not because I'm that good, but if I'm on your team, 
you don't want me on your team. But the point, the point that I wanted to make here is that with an interface, you obviously have a lot more control over your audio, whereas you're not trying to have it all uh, dealt with with a software. And so that's just certainly something to think about as far as an upgrade is concerned. And the whole thing about whether you should use whether you should use a broadcast mic for gaming, I mean, it's your, it's your investment. That's the thing. Like I was saying, this, this microphone is great for podcasting, streaming without gaming. And apparently they're not into hugs around here because, uh, and I should probably do a lot less talking while I'm, I'm trying to show you the microphone or at least test the microphone with you. So anyway, I'm not sure how far we should go with this because I'm just going to do a huge disservice to this game and anybody who plays this game. But I just wanted to give you at least a little bit of an idea. And if I were in a Discord server typing on this mechanical keyboard, you're going you're gonna to pick up some of those, those uh, keystrokes. All right, so I'm just ruining the game here. So what I wanted to just reiterate is that this microphone with all of these options of podcasting, streaming, even with gaming, uh, adding that feature in, I do think it should be a consideration if you're considering a broadcast style mic. So anyway, let's get out of here on this one. Hit me up over on Twitter or down in the comment section below. You go out there and do those things that matter. Keep rocking those faces and I'll catch you right back here on the next one.